Hey guys, today we're taking a look at 14 star, 1400% Zenkai 7EX Purple Krillin. Here he is, fully soul boosted. And um, there's a few things you could do with this unit, right? There's really one team that you can run him on to make himself look good, which is like the Super Warrior Purple Purple Red setup, um, which is kind of just like a troll team, I feel like. I feel like it's not really super good. Yamcha is someone who can you can make look ridiculous with like this Krillin, the purple EX Krillin that exists uh, from the Super Warrior event they released during the second anniversary. Um, and then this Krillin, like that team could actually do a lot of damage, I feel like. But in terms of like a competitive team that you would run in the meta, it's not really super competitive. But the team we're going to be using today is pretty much just going to be uh, trying to buff up LF Namagoku as much as possible here. So um, I have the best bench pretty much possible for Namagoku. I have the 250% buffs from the injured 14 as well as Fat Boo, and then Bardock um, obviously providing the Zenkai buff to Goku. Krillin is going to be providing death buffs, and then Vegeta is also going to provi be providing death buffs as well. Krillin, if you can look, take a look at what he does, his kit actually literally has a <laughs> unique ability called Goku, where he provides extra buffs to Goku characters. So I feel like this is specifically designed to you know, target the Namek Goku because he gives him special move damage inflicted. Um, and then also the fact that he actually gains a blue card when you use his main ability. So um, they work really, really well together. The goal of this video is not to just have Krillin die instantly. I want to actually have him do stuff during the fight. And if the enemy decides to Rising Rush or something like that, then we'll sack him off. Um, or we'll sack him off in terms of like putting him in front of blue cards and stuff like that. So if he dies, it's not that big of an issue. And then Vegeta also, the fact that he can just reduce enemy Dragon Balls as well will help him. Uh, or will help Goku just sort of not just get Rising Rushed as the last man standing, but... Alright, in terms of the equips, we are going with the following. I gave Krillin mostly just a mixture of offensive equips for Blast and Strike Attack. I believe he's more Blast-based, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah, he is way more Blast-based, okay. So, yeah, and then Namagoku has a lot of uh, Blast special move and just defensive equips, and then Vegeta has a lot of offensive Blast-based equips. So, with that said, let's go ahead and jump in and see how good this Namagoku feels once we get all these buffs rolling. All right, going up against a future team right off the bat. Oh, I could t this is going to be a fun one. Yeah, it's definitely not laggy or anything. <laughs> All right, we'll see what happens. Goes in the trunks. It's fine. Guess I'll go into Goku here. Of course, I don't have any strikes. Thought he'd go into v VB there. Okay, we'll back up. Maybe I should go for this blast here. Nah, I'll just wait. Yeah, maybe I should have went for it. Reduce my sub count here. Okay. We can reduce sub count again with Krillin. I actually almost have a rush. I'm actually going to go rush with Goku. That's fine. We should be able to kill Goku Black. Uh, we'll do Blast. He knows I have some blues in my hand, so I'm not going to use one. Goku Black is definitely dead here. Are you kidding me? Okay. <laughs> I guess we'll just transform here. That would have been such a nice kill on Goku Black if we got it. It's a lens blue. Alright, cool. So he's out of the way. So like actually getting rushed didn't really matter. Let's go for taps here. Oh, I'm trying to back up. Actually, oh, okay. We won. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I'm actually going to go for a strike. Again, Krillin dies here. This is actually what we want, right? Oh, okay. Well, that actually doesn't matter. I mean, he guessed me, so it's kind of fair, but whatever. All right, Goku, destroy him. Pretty sure he's just dead. I don't even need to use that second blast there. I could just blue guard him immediately. Okay, let's move on. Okay, jumping into another one against a Super Saiyan team, I guess. That's no, blue, blue, purple Saiyans, pretty much, I guess. Let's buy some time with Krillin here. 
Ah, okay. Didn't know they go immediately there. Um, we'll eat some damage. With Actually, I'm, I'm pretty impressed by how well Krillin is tanking these. Look at, look at how well he's tanking against this Goku. You guys know how hard this Goku hits. I mean, I'm going to Vegeta to take that. I should have waited from the side step. He's definitely, he's definitely was going to. Alright, there's that. Gonna go immediately here. Nice. Going to Krillin. I want to preserve my transformation. I don't want to use it yet. I think we'll go ahead and use this now. Start stacking up these buffs. Remember, Vegeta does get uh, infinite buffs to, to the allies for using his blue card. Okay. Start stacking up these buffs even more. Okay, I think Bardock is dead. <laughs> is that a lot of damage? I can't tell. Okay, nice. Yeah, people that just float up like that, you can just most of the time get them with a, a simple strike. And if they dodge it, it's not going to be a PV, so you know, it's pretty pretty easy to play around that. Alright, so last man standing name Goku. See what he can do here. I'm actually not even use my main yet. I have a blue card in my hand. Going to Vegeta here. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, the good thing about Vegeta dying here is that he we will destroy his Dragon Ball, so we can't rush. I'm actually gonna let him die. Eh, I'll go into Krillin. Krillin can actually, I think, eat this. Yeah. That's fine. We're gonna get buffed up here. Get some Dragon. Get one Dragon Ball when he dies. Make him dodge this. Oh, he didn't dodge it. Okay, well, I guess Goku's just going to kill him. Alright, this guy took like 10 years to load. Hopefully it's, uh... Oh my god. Okay, let's see. Maybe that was just the beginning of the match. Yeah, right now it doesn't feel that bad. Let's see how it goes. That's a lot of damage. Okay, a little stutter there. There's a little stutter as well. Okay. Okay, there's also some more lag. This is fun. Uh, why is every match like this? It's actually just not fun. Yep. Shoot your blast attack. Ah, yeah, cool. I need two more Dragon Balls for a rush. I'm gonna shoot this blue card with Vegeta to start stacking up his permanent blue card buff for Namagoku. Oh, okay. Did not expect that. I can't even green card Gogeta, he's immune. Can rush this guy. Oh, he's dead. You picked green? I just used one. Well, <laughs> okay. Um, Alright, we have no main abilities left. That's fine, I'll let him eat that. You can kill him. At this point, Krillin has fulfilled his purpose here. Alright, we'll transform with Namek Goku. I don't know what that is. Okay, whatever. If you rush me, I'll just go into Vegeta. Perfect! This is what I want. 
Alright, I'm gonna mute myself because this can get really, really hard. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Please kill me. Okay, there's vanishes used at least, so there's that. Alright, now I'm muting. Alright, yeah, the lag kind of threw me off in that match, but ended up okay. Leads with Gohan. Let's see what he does here. Alright. Okay, goes for taps immediately. It's good to know for the future. Wow. Didn't expect that. Um, Alright, let's see what he does. If he stays with Gohan or not. He probably should. Uh, I think he still has Vanish with Gohan, so there's no reason why he should switch. Well, that was a little delayed. <laughs> Alright. Um. I mean, again, he still has no real reason to switch here unless I go into Goku. Look at this. <laughs> uh, I guess we'll just go into Goku here. It's fine. Come, we'll go into Rose here. That's fine. Which means we'll just go into Vegeta. To even get the PV. If not, we'll just try and land the blue card on him. I'll, I'm down to wait. Okay. <laughs> that did a lot of damage. He has yellow Gohan. We should draw a card with Goku because of Vegeta. Damn. Nice. Popped his Endurance, which is great. Can go like this. Get another blue card. There's another tackle. Let's go for taps here. Okay, we'll eat that. No big deal. Okay, that's a little bit reckless. Gonna throw this blue card out right away. Got another one for you. Okay, go for taps. Okay. Get him out of here. Krillin's putting in a lot of work in this uh, fight here, for sure. Nice. You know what? I don't even know if we... <laughs> I don't even know if we need Goku. Because <laughs> I think he has Green Goku Black left, right? That's it? Yeah. If he rushes, I might just... <laughs> I'm not looking at that Goku. I'm just gonna throw Vegeta out here. If you wanna rush Vegeta, go for it. Yeah, it's fine. I actually really considered <laughs> sacking Goku <laughs> into the rush. It's like the complete opposite of what this team was supposed to do. Alright. Let's see if we can show some Goku gameplay here. So that destroys um, the dragon, even though we just use his rush, doesn't matter. Pop this. What are you gonna go for here? We can buy some time to let Krillin go back and get back in, if nothing else. Oh, okay. Um, Goku should be fine here. Pretty sure he already uses main, right? Anyway, either way, he uses vanish, so we're good. That's too long of a charge, I think. Yep. Alright, we will move on. All right, another future team. This one's lagging as well. I don't know what's going on today. Every single match is laggy. Every, like literally every single one. I apologize. I just I can't, I can't do anything about it. It's just I have no control over this. All right. Well, uh, we're gonna deal with this regardless. So we'll have Goku eat this damage. He goes into him. That's fine. I'm switch into Vegeta here. 
I want to line up Goku's switch timer with his uh, yellow future Gohan so that we don't always have a type of vintage character against his future Gohan. Okay, thanks. Probably gonna go into him right here. No. I'm pretty sure he's gonna bring future Gohan in, so I'm just gonna go like this. Yep. This should pop his endurance. What's that? Okay. Go for something immediately, tackle. Okay. Show him what you got, Krillin. Oh, I wish he get I wish he gained key on his main ability. All right, powerful opponent here, which is at least it's something different, right? <laughs> at least it's not future every time. I'm gonna go immediately here. Nice. Uh, so this is green, green, yellow, which is an interesting setup for this team. It's actually really good against my team. <laughs> Uh, Metal Cool is coming in here, so let's we'll drop. Yep. We'll get Turles back in here with the green card. So that we set up our switch timers appropriately here. Interesting. You're gonna switch to Jiren. Let's get your sub count down. Let's go with this. Start building up those damage buffs. Let's go again. Go again. Oh, okay, that was nice. I'll let Krillin take this. He's not really taking much damage here. That's perfectly fine. He can faint me here. Doesn't really matter though. Okay, he has no vanish. That's fine. I guarantee you I just did more damage to him through his blast armor than he's going to do to my whole team here. Actually, that was a decent amount of damage. I underestimated that. Alright, we got him. Have I even switched Goku in? Yeah, I think I have, like, once. Did I? Maybe I didn't. Take him out, Krillin, you got this. Yeah, this is the team I didn't want to fight. Uh, <laughs> 18 is really not good for my team here. Like, this matchup's horrible. We're probably going to have to catch her in some kind of sidestep for a rush. Otherwise, I don't really know how to deal with her. I mean, this this is a good start, right? Just do a combo to her immediately. We can switch her out. I think that's probably good. We can uh, match up Goku's switch timer with her. Now let's go into Krillin. That was pretty bad. Yep. Here comes like a four year long combo. It's an interesting time to pop that. It's very early. Wow, she's doing a lot of damage to Krillin. And then 18's gonna come in and probably just decimate me here. Going to Vegeta. Okay. There's 18. I'm gonna go into Goku, transform to get the extra damage. And uh, this should make her switch. Yep. And actually drop combo here. Got this. What is he doing? What is he doing? He's fishing for something? Okay. Eighteen? No. This is a strange match. Didn't think that would hit. Hello, back up. What? I, I actually don't even know what just happened. Okay. She's 
She dead? No, Vegeta's buffs have ran out. Damn, that did nothing! What's she doing here? I'm tapping. So please tap the screen. Please. Thank you. I'm tap again here. Perfect. There's 16. Gotta buy some time. I'm actually gonna launch this here. No damage. Had to use that there. This should get me my vanish back. And then I believe Namagoku still has his main ability. I don't remember if I use it or not. Alright, we're just gonna get his vanish back here, and uh, we should be able to sort of do something. Nice. Perfect. Okay, yeah, I, I can't avoid that. Um, we'll go strike. I mean, even if he kills me here, he already uses main, so... There's actually no way he can kill Vegeta, almost. Yeah, this is fine. He still has Vanish, but... Good luck killing Vegeta with no rush and no main. Even though Vegeta's buffs have worn out. Like, there's like no way he can win this. Alright, we'll wrap this one up. That was a tough match. Alright, um, this team sucks. <laughs> uh, we were we were lucky because we were, we were able to maneuver ourselves into a position where we never really had to rely on uh, the opponent not being able to Rising Rush Goku as last man standing. Although, Vegeta is set up to sort of maneuver our way out of that, that uh, scenario, but it's still inevitably going to happen in a lot of these matches that you're going to use this team for. Um, overall, Krillin, though, he actually is really, really good. I'm surprised at how well he was able to tank. That's the thing that impressed me the most from this uh, showcase here. And the damage he provides to the team is pretty noticeable as well. I mean, again, it's a debuff to the entire enemy team when he dies. He provides a 10% damage buff to the whole team for 60 counts uh, upon the battle starting. And then, obviously, all the death buffs that he gives the team is uh, pretty uh, significant, too. So, uh, that was Krillin. Again, not really a showcase focused around Krillin's damage, per se, but more so the utility he can bring to the team with his sub count reduction, his blue cards... Um, the death buff, stuff like that. And then he also gives the Dragon Ball as well. Don't forget that as well. So, hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next one.